downtown St. Petersburg, Central Avenue. Uh, heard good things about bodegas. Bodegas. Cuban sandwich. Super curious. Super hungry. And super hot. How is it? Super delicious. Alexander, how is yours? Hold on. Great. We got a pollo back here. Let me see. We got a, fr a what? A frita? A frita. Burger? There's a great crunch because like they're like fries. They're Wish really you were here. Crunchy. Oh, you know, Sophie. <laughs> Goodies. What, what we got? Let's see. Let's see if she got some good stuff here. Watermelon. Watermelon. Okay. Look at this spinach. Oh, nice. How beautiful does that look? Good. It looks pretty busy out there. A lot of fresh greens. A lot of cucumbers. Some blueberries. Some bell peppers. Apples. Okay. Fair necessity. Blueberries. Can I have back because I got you a cucumber. Uh huh. Coffee? Well, what? I drank a little bit of it, but. It's oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe they gave you the small version in the big cup. Exactly. That's yeah, yeah, said. okay. <laughs> Perfect. Said. beautiful Clearwater, Florida today and we decided to stop by the Clearwater Marine Aquarium uh, probably most famously known for the movie Dolphin Tale yeah. Dolphin Tale 2 uh, if you haven't seen it I'm sure it's on Netflix or Hulu or Disney or one of the other <laughs> millions of streaming channels now but basically there was a dolphin that was caught in a crab net I believe winter winter and unfortunately she ended up losing her tail and uh, as the movie kind of depicts uh, it shows kind of her rehab process and all the struggles that this incredible rehab facility and complex kind of went through to not only keep her safe but all the other animals that they have rescued we've seen sea turtles we've seen sharks Sea otters. Sea otters, pelicans, a little bit of everything. So stingrays, yeah. So and she touched the stingray. Very cool. So definitely recommend check this place out. It's awesome. All the proceeds go to the rehab of these animals. So in my opinion, much better than going to a zoo uh, and seeing all those animals caged up. These animals need your help. So come check it out.
I knew where to find my family in the gift shop. Well, technically 100% of the proceeds all go back into rehabilitating these animals and feeding them, so we're gonna shop away. guys I found a groomer like right around the corner you want to get them like all cleaned and shaved and everything else before we head to Georgia oh, yeah. that sound good yeah. yeah what do you guys think I think for the lick lick I think she's staying wet yeah. I don't know they look a little indifferent about it but we're gonna get them all cleaned up sound good yeah cool. sounds You want to go get one? Oh. Sophie, Hi, Sophie. Bye bye. Hi, Sophie. Bye bye. Hi, where are you going? Oh, you're just exploring and comfortable as can be. He is the one. She likes to run. He goes around where he has a lot of parties. Bye bye. 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 Bye Well, they say all good things must come to an end. And sadly, it rings true for our time here in Florida. But I think we've had a pretty awesome time. We've been here, what, about two weeks? Two weeks. And we've packed it in, as you see. Uh, seaplane, boat ride, snorkeling, beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Which has been, you know, great for my wife because, I mean, you love the beach. I love the beach. She loves the hot weather. I do. Me? I tend to kind of melt when it gets above 80, 85. So, you know, it, it, it was a little tough here and there, but I gotta say uh, a whole bunch of sunscreen. Um, and honestly, that hat that we found down in Key West uh, at Diver's Den, I mean, that thing provided enough shade for me. And surprisingly enough, I can say this is the most time I've spent at a beach without being completely burnt. Yeah, pretty well, you, cool. You were pretty covered though too. Thank We got hat. We made sure everyone had a wide brim hat, mm -hmm. which is awesome. The kids had the SPF fifty. Mine did too. Built SPF five thousand for me. No, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, no one got burnt. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, um, it was only eighty four, ninety one when it got really hot. Yeah. But um, it felt great because it was a constant breeze the entire time. I want to share with you guys my new favorite sunscreen, Unseen Sunscreen, um, by Super Goop. Because he's talking about the hat. Mine is definitely this. Um, it just doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel oily, and it didn't burn my eyes when I was sweating. So that is always a plus. Yeah, and I think I used, I, I don't remember Neutrogena. The, Neutrogena, but it was like the stick version. And the kids as well, I think it was SPF, what, 70? Yeah. Uh, which surprisingly worked really well for me. Um, so I was very happy about that. Another thing, yes, it was, you know, for me, rather hot. Uh, but like my wife said, constant breeze, and the water was nice and cold. Yeah. So even though it felt hot when I was sitting out, I just had to go plunge real quick, play with the kids in the water, and I felt good. So, uh, so that was absolutely awesome. One thing I do want to say though, that I was a little disappointed, a little irritated by, and if you see my skin, oh yes, your skin, yes, our daughter's skin, surprisingly not our son. No, I don't nothing. know what he was eating or drinking. <laughs> it had to be something different from us, but. We have probably, what, over 100 bites each? Mm -hmm. Easily. So, no seams. Never heard of them before. No one ever warned us about these little gnats, bugs, yeah. that bite you everywhere. Everywhere. And apparently we didn't find this out until about a week and a half in after, you know, a couple days of scratching and clawing at our skin. So, um, yeah. We thought we had bed bugs. We thought the dogs had fleas. We uh, had no idea what was happening. We didn't see any mosquitoes. It, it was a lot of sleepless nights. A lot yeah. of hours of, well, you can see us now probably kind of rubbing yeah, and itching. Yeah, I'm scratching underneath so, the table. Um, but bring bug spray. They say bug spray, the little things you wear around your wrist or ankles for the kids. Uh, just keep it on. 
Uh, apparently it's worse near the water. And <laughs> wouldn't you know it, both the places we stayed were near the water. So nice. that is probably why we got chewed up so bad. Yeah. Um, but other than that, this has been an absolutely incredible trip. This is the most time I've spent in Florida. Uh, I think you as well. And I almost wish we had another week. Yeah, we are loving it. I feel like it was. there's so many tiny little towns and cities, not tiny, but to see and get to explore that we didn't have a chance to quite do. But mm -hmm. I will say I'm glad that we did spend a week in each place. Yes. Because it gave us enough time to have a day to decompress, do laundry, yeah. go to the grocery store, catch up on stuff, and not feel as burned out as normal. Yeah, it really gives us that time to regroup, get groceries, kind of prepare for the next, you know, couple of days of our trip, which, like you said, we're not really used to. We've been go, go, go every yeah. time we did have an opportunity to take a trip. You know, so we would only book maybe two, three nights in most places. Mm -hmm. This is the first time, and this is one of the great things about this whole trip that we have planned out. We vowed that we were going to take it slowly yes. so we could enjoy much more and see the sights. And of course, you know, we don't get to spend as much time as we like, and we don't get to see everything in these places. But we're trying to hit the main things. Yes, because there's a few places here that we need to get to see um, because we had gotten our dates all wrong. I'm sure Alex mentioned that before. <laughs> yeah, remember So we had that? to we reschedule. We lost baseball games. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get into the museums we wanted to. Yeah. Um, there was just certain things that we haven't been able to do, but there's been way more that we have been able to do. And we are grateful for all those experiences mm -hmm. because that definitely outweighs the bad. Absolutely, and, and still or not kinda, bad. Yeah. And, and still <laughs> kind of going on with this, um, you know, with the. COVID kind of dying down right now, thankfully, you're still having to, you know, book things in advance. And, and admission is limited still to a lot of places. So you definitely have to be prepared. And we thought we were really on top of the ball by knocking all that stuff out in November. But scheduling mishaps. And then of course, when you finally get to the destinations, you're like, oh wait, but I want to do this. I want to do this. Yes. So really trying to get everything coordinated, I think has maybe been the biggest challenge. You know, for, for my Google expert over yeah, here. Yeah, it's definitely been my <laughs> biggest challenge. I think more than anything, it's been this little hiccup of the dates. Yes, more than anything. Yes. Um, because you can't do anything about it anymore. And it, I call and yeah. That was yeah, and, and well, and, and like we said, you have to adjust. And that's part of this kind of RV experience is things come up. So you adjust and you make the best of it. I think we've done a pretty good job this far.